So for our peritoneal dialysis, um, I call it peritoneal because it almost reminds me of burritos because uh, it has to do with um, your stomach and that peritoneal cavity in right, right here. This is just another way to get fluid out of your body with dialysis when your kidneys are broken. Because those kidneys are supposed to filter your blood, get all that junk into the potty through your urinary tract, get it out of the body, and make sure everything's functioning good. So, what we do There's a little belly. This little peritoneal dialysis, this kind of burrito neo dialysis, you can we can say. What we do is we put a um, let's see here. How do I explain this? You put a tube that's supposed to indwell inside your peritoneal cavity here. Kind of like so. What we're trying to do here is fill the body up with a solution. This solution inside your inside the body now is supposed to attract the fluid and you basically fill your body up with like a sugary type of solution. And it's almost like a plastic encasement here. So you fill your body up with the solution. You let it dwell there for a little bit. This solution has high solutes, which means that this osmosis is supposed to be happening. All the excess fluid in the body is supposed to be attracted to that solution in your peritoneal cavity, once we dwell a little bit, we can then extract it and drain it. So we're just getting excess fluids out of the body. So we can break it down actually into three areas here. You have it in, You make it sit there, and then you drain it out. So you put that fluid into your peritoneal area, you let it sit there, let it attract all that blood sugar, or all that, I'm sorry, all that excess fluid in the body, and help it then drain it. Uh, my grandma was actually on peritoneal dialysis. We used to hook her up to the machine, put, it, put about a liter to two liters inside her peritoneal cavity, let it sit there for about an hour and a half. My mom used to watch novelas with her, uh, which is just a, a, a Spanish, um, what is it, uh, Spanish soap operas for about an hour or two and then they drained out the fluid after that. So, that's what used to happen. We're just pushing high concentration of solutes, like high sugar type of fluids, that it's, it's not gonna go into the body, it's protected, and all that high sugary, let's say, um, low potassium type of concentrate is going to attract all the excess fluid from the body into that peritoneal area and then be able to drain it out, okay? So what are some benefits and some risks for this kind of dialysis? Well, obviously it's good because we don't have a big fat shunt in our arm, right? Cool. Uh, we don't have a big huge Quinton catheter sticking out of our chest. Uh, you know, we don't have really any malformalities. All we really have is a tube that's kind of sticking out of your stomach. So, 
Um, some bad things that could happen is higher risk for infections. So you're doing this peritoneal dialysis at least three to four up to five times a day every single day. So, hey, see you later, Michelo. Anytime, dear. So what we're doing here is we're infusing this solution up to four or five times a day into your patient. Sometimes it really just depends on your patient. Sometimes they can only use one, two, maybe three times for solutions. But you have a lot more times that you have to do it. Plus you're at home and it's a lot less sanitary than let's say a dialysis clinic that's being very sanitary, putting a needle into that shunt, filtering out your blood. Um, it's very less sanitary. You have more higher risk for infection. So a good thing to watch your patient for on peritoneal dialysis and educate them is infection, infection control. If they start draining this fluid out of their peritoneal cavity and it's very cloudy, very smelly, those are indications for an infection. So you guys have to educate your patient that way. A huge thing that I forgot to mention in your hemodialysis is weights. Always make sure you take your patient's weight. Take a weight before they go into dialysis, take a weight after they come out of dialysis. We want to need we want to knew <laughs> we want to know how much fluid they've lost. We want to know how much fluid sucked out. Obviously, they have it on their little paper. We put this much fluid in, we put this much fluid out. But weights are huge with your patient and knowing how much fluid is being taken in and out, as well as how much fluid did they end with after dialysis so that we can watch out for the next day how much is, um, is our patient gaining any weight? Are they losing any weight? What's going on? Okay, so big risk for infection with peritoneal dialysis. It goes into your stomach. You check the daily weights. Um, obviously, you're doing um, blood sugar checks, but we're releasing at least two liters. We're putting in, oh, here's actually a good one. Let's say you put in a liter of fluid, and that fluid is inside now. We let it sit, and then we drain it. Do you expect to have more fluid coming out, or the same amount of fluid stinking in there? So you put one unit in, and you're draining out. You expect how much to come out? at least more than one, usually two units out. The biggest thing for peritoneal dialysis is having us pee. That's our biggest thing there. We want our patient to urinate. And that's kind of what we're doing here with peritoneal dialysis. So just remember those critical factors with your dialysis patients, okay?